Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the beginning of the last days. I'm Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson, and I'm very happy to be with you today. We've got a great guest. It's Friday. We like to call it Fun Friday around here. Not because anything's really much fun these days, but, um, well, in a way, it kind of is. Like, I do enjoy the giggles at what is going on in the United States of America as uh, the chaos just seems to be causing such division and a whole lot of um, <laughs> craziness going on. And then I put up something, you know, on my Facebook uh, regarding Biden. It was a little meme, and I seem to be, like, knocked off of there. So, you all, I got, I'm banned again on on Facebook. I don't know why. They've left up yesterday's broadcast, although they seem to say that they had a problem with it, which yesterday was so minor, I don't even know. Um, but uh, I guess they just don't really like the memes of Biden that we've got going on. And it's just a, it's just a bit of fun to watch um the wicked get a little bit of justice here and there, and so we pray for more of that. This is my dad. So, you know, every day um, I read from his Bible, and I found his uh, in loving memory of David Freeman. And, oh, and on the inside, there's pictures of me when I was young, and we were in the Arctic on that top one there. Uh, no, on the, the top one, we're in Africa, of course, and then we were in the Arctic on the bottom one. So we went from the oven to the freezer uh, crossing the equator. So I like to read from my dad's Bible every day because he underlined it from stem to stern. And I like to see what is important. And today it fell open to Numbers 14, uh, verse 21, where it says, But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Amen. So we might wonder if it's really filled with his glory when all of these evil people seem to be getting away with all of their stuff. But I'm kind of convinced that if we keep on telling the truth, at the very least, we save ourselves. At the very least, we get into some sort of arc that carries us through the crisis that we're experiencing. We protect ourselves. We protect our families. Because why? Because we tell the truth and we shamelessly declare that we will not be stopped or silenced, we will not be uncourageous. Um, there's nothing worse than a coward, is there? Someone who knows the truth and just is so petrified of being able to use their God-given voice to say a few things that matter to humanity. And uh, we're gonna show a clip very shortly on how the BBC um, is finally actually beginning to reveal the truth. The mainstream media is finding it hard to keep silent. Now that's a real miracle. That's a Friday miracle for us. But before we get to that, could we look at this? This is an interesting story. Do any of you know more about this? So this is, um, so a woman on what happened to Stephanie Warriner? In May 2020, at Toronto General Hospital, a lobby security camera captured only part of what happened that left Danielle Stephanie Warriner dead after a physical altercation with security guards. An Ontario judge struck the trial from the docket on November 22, 2022. Now, why is this being talked about now, do you think, JT? It's a strange story, right? Because, yeah, th so this is CBC um, reporting on this January 12th, 2023. Yeah, I want to see the video. Okay, so this lady's in blue against the wall. See her there? Once she gets grabbed, oh, look, the camera looks away. It's a security camera turning away from an incident. We don't see what happens, and she's dead. We don't know if she's dead there. She's unconscious, for sure. She's not moving at all. And they take her away, and she dies, right? Days later, Shane says. So this is kind of um, just an, an interesting thing. And 
being sort of highlighted now. Um, wow, right? And and then the courts strike it from the docket. Uh, you know, just weird. All right, so the other thing I just want to show you before we are going to quickly get to our guest today, we're very honored to have him here with us. Um, the BBC... Oh, you don't think this, but but the BBC is airing it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, what I'm going to announce then right now, we don't think we should put it on YouTube, even though the BBC is beginning to tell the truth. We don't know if YouTube's ready. <laughs> so <laughs> let's air it. That, let's do it later then. So what we'll do then is I'm going to invite uh, our guest on. Um, and we'll do that before we get off of uh, YouTube. But we want to let all of you know that we are on Rumble right now. You go to rumble.com and you can type my name in, Laura Lynn Tyler Thompson. It will come up with the, the show that we're doing right now. Or you can scroll down and in the comments of the show, the description of the show that you're watching right now on YouTube or in the chat, in the chat. Um, it's probably in the description too, huh? No? That's the direct link to the show is in the chat for you at YouTube, and you can click on it. It'll take you right to Rumble, where we are going to rumble today with some truth, and it is going to be fantastic. Um, we're going to let you go because what we're about to show, uh, the BBC might be ready for it, <laughs> barely, but we don't know if YouTube is. So 